also, oh my god, I accidentally knocked something. This video is about the time that me and Corbin and Randy and some other friends, um, we found snakes. And man, we were so intrigued by snakes. Now that I realize, like, why the fuck were we so interested in snakes of all things? Die. Of all things. But, um, they weren't just, like, snakes, like, oh yeah, there's just snakes in, like, a pet store. No, these were wild snakes that we had found and we were very interested in. Like, we, w we wanted to keep them as pets. And, um, we did to a point. Some people did. Which we now know is fucked up. But at the time, we didn't. We, um, it was near our elementary school. We were in, um, fourth grade to be exact. Uh, so at the age of nine-ish. Fuck you, dude. At the age of nine-ish, we, uh, we went around our park that was just built recently, and we decided to, um, kill this guy for using overdrive, and he should fucking kill himself. Oh my god, die. Okay. Those medals. And we decided to go check this area out, and one of our friends that we were talking to said, Nathaniel, you have horrible aim, and how did you not get a fucking shot on that guy? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm just what you said, horrible. No, one of our friends is like, hey, let's go over to this area of the park, which um, had tall, like, grass. Like, we found so many Pokemon in that tall grass. It had tallish grass, and we were like, okay, yeah, sure, this sounds like oogles of fun. Oogles of fun. And we went there, and we found something that was interesting to us. We were like, there is a fucking snake. We were freaking our shit out. One of our friends, I think it was Corbin, became the man out of us and fucking picked the snake up. And did like some fucking, did some like fucking church shit when they have the snake crawl over their arms. Like it was wrapping around his arm and we were like, I was like, I don't know about we, I was like, what the fuck, no. Dude, the shit's sketchy as fuck. I, I, I don't know. Like snake, I'm okay with snakes now-ish. But at the time, I was like, what the fuck? This is my first time ever, like, really seeing Snake. Like, out and not in, like, a cage at a pet store. Because none of my friends growing up really had snakes. Because, um, our parents were like, um, 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 is all I can say. Our parents were like, this shit is, uh, kind of scary. And I, like, I had another reptilian before. Oh, yeah, a reptilian. Ha ha ha. Um, I had another reptilian before. Reptile? Why am I saying reptilian? I had another reptile before, it was a salamander, and I don't think I ever really named it, I think I named it Sally or something, but that, that's for another story. Um, that's the closest thing I've had to it, and I got that thing, and it was cool, right? I, I had a salamander, um, but this snake freaked the shit out of me, but we eventually, Corbin was like, pick it up, pick it up, and I, and I, I picked it up, I was like, wow. This isn't that bad, actually. So, I picked it up, and I'm like, I can deal with this. I can deal with this shit. It's not gonna fucking kill me. My, my thought was like, what if this shit is poisonous? What if Corbin just literally killed me by putting this shit in my hand? Because, like, we had no idea what snakes these were. We were just like, oh my god, there's fucking snakes, dude. Whoa, bro. Brasky. But, um, luckily they weren't bad or anything. They were completely fine. And, um... Where are you? Luckily, they weren't bad. They were completely fine snakes. They were, uh, ribbon snakes, I believe. But, we soon enough started going every single day after school, getting these snakes, having fun with them, picking them up. I had a, an aquarium that I bought, and we put the snakes in that aquarium. We put soil and shit, and I were like, dude, this is, this is awesome. We have our own snakes. This is, like, super fucking cool. We, uh, decided to kill that guy through the wall, which was pretty cool. We, um, decided to, uh, put him in the cage and tell more and more friends until word got out. Or, not word, let's say snake. Because Corbin decided to bring a snake to the school. And what he did was, he put it in his backpack. And the thing was alive. He put it in his backpack, he closed his backpack all day, and... You know what the snake said? He said, fuck you, Corbin. I want to breathe. I want to live. So it got a hole in his backpack. And we're in the elementary school. We're in about fourth grade, fifth grade. Yeah, fourth grade. Fourth grade. That's it. And, um, like, that's, a, that's the time when uh, 
I'll just say girls, whatever, are like, not girls, just people, oh, stereotype, not stereotype, just what people have said is like, girls don't like spiders, blah, 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 even though I know tons that do. Just that they don't like snakes. But this one didn't. This one found the snake because it crawled, it slithered, not crawled, it slithered around the fucking classroom, out the door, into like this open area where this girl was sitting on a chair with her friends because we were doing something out there, and she freaked the fuck out. She picked the chair up like this was some WWE slam down fucking, I don't even know. She she went ham on this snake. This snake had nothing, he, he didn't know this was coming. This was unfair. This snake, he, whatever, he, uh, he, he got fucking smashed. Like, this isn't just some, like, aw, oh, he got smacked. No, this is like some Hulk shit when Hulk is, spoilers, when Hulk is smashing Loki in Avengers 1. When he thrashes him around on the ground, it was like, there was blood and guts, and she was just like, oh my fucking god! And, I mean, everyone found out about the snakes, believe it or not. Everyone. And, uh, you wanna know who also found out? Um, some people in the state who, um, didn't like us taking the snakes that were in the park. So, they held eating a fucking meeting, the money to get this fucking meeting, to make sure that we couldn't get the snake. That every, if each snake was worth $250 in fines. Approximately, we had taken so many snakes that I can't even remember. Me, myself, I think I got about like seven snakes. I mean, that just adds up to... Oh my god. And there were so many of us towards the end of it that it wasn't even like just a small thing. It was like... It was like we had a cult for snakes, and everyone just went weekly, bi-weekly, to get some snakes. And, luckily, from from what I know, they didn't find out that any of us got snakes, luckily. But, we continued to get snakes. Even though we had these warnings, we, we were like, fuck the police, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna get these things, we're gonna get a headshot, and I feel bad because he was AFK and this guy's chasing me. But, we're gonna get them. And this is this is just one time. Um, there was this guy named Hunter that we went to school with, and me and Corbin were hanging out. And Hunter was like, "Man, I want to hang out with Nathaniel and Corbin because these guys are fucking dweebs. No one likes them." No, we were just fucking hanging out, and he was like, "Man, these snake things are cool, whatever." And uh, he decided to uh, trick me and Corbin. He decided this this was the biggest snake. This this was like you know that shit where they they're, where they're in a TV show and they're like this is the long haul. This was the biggest snake we've ever caught. He decided to fucking tell us that he was grounded and this is where he lived and that he got out without his mom knowing and that we were to go knock on the door say does Hunter live here and that he would go sneak back in so that he wouldn't get grounded and everything would go smoothly and we believed him. We were like. Man, Hunter, you're pretty cool. You, man, well, yeah, we'll do this. And he he decided to hang on to the snake because he said his mom would freak out if she saw the snake. So, what he did was, he went around the house from behind, fucking ran through the green belt. There are a lot of green belts near where I live, but he ran behind the green belt. We we were up at the door, and he, and they were like. Hello, does Hunter live here? And they said, no, I, sorry, I don't know anybody by that name. And we're like, what the fuck? And we turned back around to where we saw Hunter originally, and guess what? He he was fucking gone. This this was like the first time in my life that I've ever been gypped or anything. And I, I wasn't even the one who caught the snake. Corbin was the one who caught the snake. I felt so bad for him. And this was the biggest snake we'd ever fucking seen. But he took it, he ran, and the next day, we didn't see him at school. We were gonna beat his fucking ass up, dude. We were pissed. He took our fucking snake. This is all. This is all we really wanted was this little pet baby snake. It wasn't even baby. Okay, I shouldn't say that. It was like the fucking. I don't know how big I should say this thing is. It was huge, but we lost that snake, and we were pissed. But moving on to another part with the snake, man. We did so much shit with those. Um, we decided to, uh, I was hanging out with my friend, an another one of my friends, I, I won't say his name, um, we decided to, uh, we decided 
to go before school and get a bunch of snakes because we had these things called late starts. So school didn't start till 1130, which, oh my god, if that, if that was how it is now, I would be in heaven. Like, are you fucking kidding me? School started at 1130? I wake up at 545 each day from school, and school doesn't even start until 730. But we decided to go early, get some snakes, and he, instead of, like, just, like, letting him go, bring him home or anything, he put him in a pillowcase. Now, when we came back to get him, our teacher saw it. She was like, you have to be fucking kidding me. You guys went against this whole dumb fucking meeting that we had just for you guys and got the snakes again. And we were like, no, 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 we didn't get him, we just found him, we just found him. We were, like, trying to, like, play it off. We're like, this is gonna be easy. This, this bitch doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. We're gonna get these snakes. And it's gonna be all cool. But she found out, she told her parents, but we didn't have, we didn't get in trouble with the state people that came. So we're like, this, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. So, and soon enough, the whole snake thing just went away. But that we, there were 20 fucking snakes in that sleeping bag. We had to, she walked us over to the place where we got them. And we had to let them all out. So, moral of the story that I have to say is, never fucking grab a snake ever. Even they're fucking cool. I mean, like, don't ever grab one that's outside or anything. Like, never do that. But, um, man, those snakes were so fucking cool. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. I'll talk, I'll talk to you guys later. And if you like this content I'm distributing out recently, you could always subscribe if you like it enough, because I'm trying to make it daily. So, I'll talk to you guys later.